Hello everybody, it is me, Nilsey, and I return yet again for a Transformers review. Today I thought about doing something I haven't done for a while. I'm covering a Beast Wars toy. Well, I haven't done a Beast Wars figure in a while, and this is a review on a very, very new acquisition. I came across this guy and I bought him on a whim. He's not complete. He's basically missing these things that come out of his wings. And he's missing two smaller wings that go on the back end of him. As you can see by the title page, I am talking about this guy. I'm talking about, yes, uh, if I'm pronouncing this right, um, Cicadicon. Here he is. Yes. Don't know anything about him. This, I bought, like I said, I bought him on a whim. It was an insect former. That's what I call him. Um, so I thought it was interesting. And I just bought him on a, like I said, bought him on a whim. Cicadacon. Um, and obviously he's a Predacon. Um, his function is not applicable. According to tfu.info, I know nothing about any background. He doesn't seem to have any sort of background. All I know is that I, like I said, a missing uh, missile slash wing accessories times two. It's two smaller wings that come off the back. So there's like two smaller ball joints and two extra wings. And I'm also missing the uh, like orange like things that come out from the wings and they're like meant to be like a missile or some sort of a weapon but i've also found out that this guy was a part it, or it was a part of, of well he's from the 1997 toy line and he came with or meant to be was available with ram horn and c clamp he formed or this guy forms the head of Tripredicus. so let's go on to the toy now, bear with me, because this is the first time me dealing with this toy. Well, I can transform it, but I don't really know how it goes, how it's, you can put it into like a combined mode or anything like that. So this is him in his robot mode, or, well, robot mode, insect. Robot mode? What am I about? Insect mode. Um, interesting. So, let's move on. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be the type of dragonfly maybe but anyway so let's move on uh, let's put him into his robot mode so very simple let's just bring these wings kind of to the side what i'm going to do here see this side bit here that flips down and that is on both sides that reveals the feet so they come out of there and come down then close the side panels like so what you do Bring it like this, and then you've got the arms. Let's bring these arms completely out to the sides, and then kind of do this and that and this. And then, as you can see there, that weird big giant head, that is obviously the rope, that is the big head for Tripredicus. Yeah, I can't really go into that too much in this review because I don't have the other ram horn or sea clamp. But anyway, so now what you do. These two side bits here of the front, these slide down like that, and then this big head bit pops off. The purple, so the purple bit kind of comes unclamped, pops up, and that goes down, and that forms the chest and waist. Then the half back bit here flips down as you can see like that reveals the head so that pops up like so the head just to show you weird head and then to finish off the feet there he is in his robot mode so he's a very interesting very interesting bot has some interesting kind of uh, moulding uh, and like sculpting into the, the plastic. He's a bit weird, <laughs> very much so. Um, he's the most. He's probably one of the strangest insect bots formers 
I have. He's quite an ugly bot, if I am honest. Um, uh, he's got a massive big chest that he can't really do much about or with. And he has very small arms and legs and they're not very proportionate to the rest of the toy. I mean, I like him. I'll take him as he is. But to be quite honest, for this review purposes, he isn't my favourite. Articulation on him is actually quite good. He's got a good bottom range of ball joint in the elbow. 360 swivel of the ball, again, a big good ball joint of the arm. He has 360 ball joint movement of the head. He has good ball joint movement and knee movement. And he has actually a very good leg movement, actually. So this guy does have a, a, a possibility of, you know, posability factor. It's not Cicada Con. Um, don't know what more I can say on the guy, really. He's an interesting bot. Um, do I recommend him? Why not? If you're a Beast Wars fanatic like myself, I would f almost certainly say yes. But basically, I do recommend him because he is a combiner. Um, but I want to get Ram Horn and uh, Sea Clamp. But what I might also do is, if I can find it, cheap enough I might maybe see if I can pick up a complete one because obviously he's gonna I'm gonna really kind of need it to be complete to get the full effect of the combined mode just thought to bring this to your attention for a change thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed very soon with more videos and bye bye for now